What's going on, brothers? It's let me tell you the name. Got a video for you. It's your title. Like up, part 50. Here goes. So, it is the fifth week of Brook Girl Summer. And these trollops are still struggling. Uh, read over at Chow Times channel. Put out a video where these trollops were saying that they are in credit card debt. And it makes sense because the majority of the trollops here in the West showed a two-thirds of a student loan debt and credit card debt in this nation. And that's one of the main reasons why most of them are out there dating. They're not dating to have a relationship. They're dating to gouge resources out of you. You know how people in the past have said that uh, governments don't like large groups of men who are single? The government does not like that because these men who are single, they're untapped resources. That's why the government doesn't like single men. They don't like bachelors. Now, these trolls and ditch pigs... They don't like bachelors because, for the same reason, they're untapped resources. These men out here are not looking, they're not chasing tail, they're not tying it out with anyone. And what really makes them even more upset is that these young men are privy to the fact that these trolls are out here to hurt them on purpose. They're privy to the fact that these trolls are on these private chat groups coaching other women on how to lie, cheat, and steal from men. A good example of what I'm talking about is a screenshot on my community tab where one of these trolls uh, let the cat out of the bag where she was texting her friend and forgot to turn off the group chat. And the translation for that is when she is on a dinner date with you, she's, te she's texting her friends. Her friends are literally coaching her on how to steal from you on a dinner date. And there you have your proof. You see, it wasn't us that made marriage dating relationships a zero-sum game. It was all these trollops, it was all they're doing. They wanted to have their cake and eat it. They wanted to go out there, earn their own money. But now they want to renege on that and say, uh, I want to be taken care of. I want to be spoiled. I want to be swallowed up, as those hoochies said. And those days are behind us. Those days are behind us because these trollops pushed to destroy that, to kill it off. They create this environment. Mm-hmm. They create this environment. And rather than them clean up their act, rather than them correct their behavior, they double down and triple down. Mm-hmm. They double down and triple down. That's why they're out here trying to find husbands in these grocery stores in affluent neighborhoods. You see them trying to find husbands in these hardware stores. And now you see them in these warehouses. I saw a young one in one of the uh, warehouses where I was uh, dropping off materials. And also going to get materials to take to various subdivisions and various warehouses. So I saw one of them in there. And of course I locked her out. I locked her out. I didn't make eye contact, I didn't speak to her. You see, because I don't shit where I eat. I'm in a workplace to earn my bread. I'm not there to date, I'm not there for relationships, I'm there strictly for business. And I've not wavered. I'm still going strong. Mm-hmm. 
So check this out, brothers. You want to know another reason why these trollops, these ditch pigs, and the machinery of the state hate and fear bachelors? Well, I'm about to uh, show you why in this book. Mm-hmm. Still on it. Shit is out. Bear with me. Unmarried men, because of their presumed contrary relationship towards marriage, suffered from a society from a societally constructed stigma. Yet through their actions, their affiliations, and occasionally their words, they constituted a legitimate social group. Though they rarely organized in a conscious way to advance their own ends, the sum of their individual and communal actions often worked to their own advantage. Did you get that? It often worked to their own advantage, and that's what these trollops, these ditch pigs, and the machine of the state can't stand. A bunch of young bachelors, especially the skillful and industrious types, you know, the Sigmas, they can't stand them because they're an untapped resource. And what if these bachelors knew each other? What if they compare notes? Not just to other bachelors, but to the young guns, the young men. They made their bread fat. That's what they are afraid of. Mm-hmm. That's what they're afraid of, but the thing is, they can't stop it. Mm-mm. They can't stop it. They don't know the whereabouts of these single men that they hate and want to destroy. They don't know where we are. All of us are not here in the States. Some of us are overseas. Some of us are off-grid. They just don't know where we are. And that's their problem. Mm-hmm. That's their problem. They're pissed about the environment that they're in. Well, they're the ones who created it. Mm-hmm. They're the ones who created it. They're the ones who pushed to destroy the nuclear family. Linda Gordon got her wish. They're the ones who whisper to these other trollops in these, in these hair salons and instruct them on how to get child support. And after they get child support, what to do next? Move out of state and then practice ritual child abuse on a the child. There was a video where uh, Brother AC posted this uh, particular hoochie who uh, found out that her 12-year-old son wants to see his father, wants to be around his father. And you know what she did? When the son was with the father, she went behind his back and tried to get him arrested for kidnapping. So you see, these trollops don't like productive men. These hoochies don't like productive men. But they sure as hell love your resources. That's why you need to lock them out. Zero tolerance, zero mercy. They create this environment. Let them, let them suffer in it. Mm -hmm. Let them suffer in it. And make no mistake, they are suffering. If you want a scriptural example of what I'm talking about, we can go to Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20. Woe unto them who call evil good and good evil take lightness for dark, dark for lightness. If you call my nature toxic and evil, woe be unto you. My nature is not toxic. My nature is given to me by the most High God himself. Take heed, brothers. Take heed. That's your life getting perfected. Continue to strive lawfully. Continue to stack your green. And if you have nephews, sons, and cousins, give them the playbook. Mm hmm. This is Lana Mittal. So I got for you. I'd be asking in the commentary for you to subscribe. If you're doing it, visit my channel. If I tip jar on my channel. All right, fam. All right, brethren. You know the drill. 
in a routine. Your own way, the boy, S Wash BM, as for these hoochies, these domestic reptiles, these thirsty hyenas and these thirsty hyenas and these bitch made simps, give them nothing. This is Mitchell PSA. Welcome to State. See you soon.